This was me in high school. Now, I was like the all-state middle linebacker. I, was, I broke state records in pole vault. Um, I was, you know, had a girlfriend for three years. I was got good grades, friends with everybody in the school. I was on top of the world. I won the game, right? But then, life hit. You turn 18, you turn 19, you turn 20. You realize that you were in a fishbowl and that there's a larger pond to swim around in. And being the king of the fishbowl is not the same as being the king of the pond. And so the rewards are different. And just like competing in general in each one is different. And so I went from having all the confidence in the world, feeling like I was on top of the world, to realizing that I'm really not that great yet. And I've still got a lot of growth to do. And so, yeah, if you're anything like this, if you're about that age where you're just getting out of high school or you've entered college or you've entered the workforce or whatever, and you're realizing, wow, I am not like the same guy I used to be to other people, like the, the game has changed, then this video is going to mean a decent amount to you. You probably learned something and hopefully you come out realizing how to regain some of that confidence that you had in high school back. So, like I said, I'm an ecologist, right? So I, I like I'm studying ecology. And so I think of the fishbowl to the font, the pond analogy as being pretty much exactly what's happened, okay? We had the skills that were acquired for the fishbowl, but now we're in the big pond and we want to be the same person that we were in the fishbowl in a larger scale on the pond. We want to be on top of the world. We want to have the confidence that we used to have. And in order to do that, we need to be the kind of competitor that we used to be. In high school, you don't really need very many skills to be a top competitor, right? Like if you have any dating experience, then getting a girlfriend isn't hard. If you are like in some kind of sport and you're like at least halfway decent, like you just don't suck. You're at least considered a, like a cool kid, right? Or if you're in some kind of club, maybe you're like a nerdy club, you can be like the smartest nerd and like you're on top of the world, right? All you need is like a couple little defining factors, somewhere to go for people to hang out, then you're the cool kid, right? It doesn't take much to be like that guy, right? And there's so many different niche elements, right? You can be like, like I said, the top nerd, or some kind of like cool athlete that's like mid, or you could be like a super athlete, or you could be like the, the goofy guy that's friends with everybody, always has parties at his house, or there's so many different ways to be, right? To win. In the real world, it's the same thing, right? An actor gets, you know, pretty girls, money, everything, an athlete, or sometimes you got this business guy where you never see his face at all, and he's just super millionaire, always has beautiful women, or you can have like a, a poor guy that has a 10 out of 10, a super feminine wife, and lives like off the grid in the middle of nowhere, but he's technically won the game. He's got the dream life that he wants, right? So there's many ways to win the game. There's many ways to be the person that you want to be. And really, I think that the, the lack of confidence that we experience is due to us putting ourselves forward to the world and being like, oh crap, this isn't what wins in this fish pond. This isn't what wins in the real world. So we have to change a little bit. We have to make ourselves fit into some kind of niche where we're able to be the top competitor. Okay, so what are the places where you can win in real life? Well, you can have some kind of, you know, athletic prowess, you know, uh, in high school, it's easy to do that. But in the real world, you have to be like, like, top notch. And so that's probably not a lot of you guys, you can start some kind of business, um, you can become an expert in some kind of field. So some kind of knowledge field. Um, you can become like a social expert and like, know everything about the city that you're in, all the parties, all the like everything where everything's at, all the people, you can connect everybody to the situations or the people that they want to be connected to. There's so many different niches to choose. But you gotta choose something that you wanna be really, really good at. And then you gotta just like absolutely go balls to the walls. Go after like making yourself the best in a particular area. And a lot of these guys, like the young guys, really ambitious, right? They wanna do everything, but really that's like impossible, right? Like Kobe Bryant couldn't do everything because he spent so much time training to be a basketball player, right? Jeff Bezos wasn't a super athlete until now he's super rich and he has lots of time. 
And so he's able to pursue that. But when he was, you know, doing his first business, I'm sure that he was like only doing business all the time, right? These kind of like extreme like examples can kind of show us that going after just one thing and going after it hard to make ourselves the expert in that area, the best in that area, the highest competitor is probably the best choice. So choose what you want to get good at and then get good at it and then the world will see you as somebody that's competent, somebody that's good. And you'll start to see that in yourself and you'll start to respect yourself more. And then you, you're just confident, right? Like once you know you're the shit, <laughs> like it's not hard to be confident, but you, what's happened is you grew into somebody that was good in high school, but, and so you knew you were the shit, but then you got to the real world and you're like, oh, nobody likes this. And you're like, okay, well, I got to change this because you, you lost all your confidence. Your confidence is just a reflection of whether or not you're meeting the standard that you set for yourself and that the world sets for yourself. And so either you're disappointed or the world's disappointed or both in what you are right now. And so that's, it's okay. Okay. That, like, that's just, it's just data, right? So that you're able to be like, okay, I need to change something. It helps you to realize your situation so that you can change. And so the biggest thing right now would be to choose a direction and to pursue it like full force. If you want to do, you know, a little bit of everything, like a lot of the like 1% self-improvement movement uh, is like everybody is like, yeah, I'm going to get fit. I'm going to build a business. I'm going to get super social. I'm going to do like everything, right? They try to, they try to raise everything all at once. And uh, some of the guys, some of the other creators have also mentioned this, but um it's really, it's, it's best to like kind of keep things on maintenance. Like I lift like once, twice a week. That's it. Like, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not a small, small guy by any means, but I don't lift very much. And that's just because that's on maintenance for me. Like I want to, I want to make some cash. So that is my primary goal. And I'm pursuing that head on. And a lot of guys are very similar to that. They want some kind of cash and they're pursuing that head on. A lot of these guys that are watching this video are probably either make money online guys or like really into fitness because that's pretty much what I talk about. Or maybe they really want to meet women. But uh, honestly, those things are all on the side for me besides making cash. That's the only thing that I'm really about right now. And so I'm trying to teach young men like you how to get their lives right. So if you like this video, um, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other ones. But anyway... Um, yeah, that's pretty much the secret sauce. If you are able to get competent, competence breeds confidence. And once you're good at stuff, then you're inevitably going to feel like you're the man again because everybody's going to look to you to solve their problems in a specific area, right? And if you're really good at making money, they're going to be like, hey, man, I got this thing I really want to do. Everybody has ideas for business or like how they're going to make more money. And when you have money, you're going to be the idea guy. They're, they're going to be like, hey, uh, I need help with this, 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 this. And you're instantly valuable to somebody because you have some kind of tangible asset. If you're the fitness guy, people are probably going to be like, hey, man, I need help moving this furniture and stuff. Like that happens all the time to me just because I have an above average amount of muscle. <laughs> and uh, anything laborious, farm work, you know, uh, moving lots of soil, any intramural teams or different sports teams in your area might be like, hey, man, Come, uh, come hang out with us. It like, uh, opens a lot of opportunity, and people start to seek you out when you have these assets. If you're really good socially, then people are going to be like, hey, man, do you, have, do you have anything going on this Saturday? And you're going to be like, oh, yeah, sure. I got like this, this, this and that you can come to and blah, blah, blah. And you become like sign, kind of a, a connector of sorts. And no matter what, if you build one of these assets, you need to be some somewhat valuable to people. And then that will make you seem like you're valuable to yourself. And that just, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel like the man. And that's what you need. You need to feel like the man again. And so uh, get good at doing things. Get good at taking care of other people. And get good at some kind of skill set that makes you valuable, not only to the people around you, but like on a grander scale to the world. Um, if you can provide value to lots of people, especially with the internet now, like that's that's the way to go. If you can record videos, you have some kind of skill that you're able to transfer to people, you should definitely do that. I appreciate you watching this video. Yeah, we'll see you in another one. Peace.